Okay, welcome back. In the last part, we talked about the bare basics, you know, programming your controller, selecting your team, uh, doing a Magic Series combo. What we're going to talk about now are partners, which used to be called assist, but now they're called partners, uh, what they do, what the impact of them is on the game. Then we're going to talk about special moves and super moves. So, on your joystick, again, I'm going to show you this again. Okay, you have your four basic attacks, light, medium, heavy, and special. Then you have two partner buttons, okay? If you press either of those partner buttons, what you're going to do, you're going to call out a partner, and they're going to do a special attack uh, during the gameplay. So, for example, I'm pressing partner one right now, which is Super Scroll. He comes out, and he punches Captain America straight in the face, bouncing him off the wall. I'm going to press partner two. Wesker comes out and punches Captain America straight in the face and he bounces off the wall. So they're pretty much the same attack. Okay? These partners have special abilities within a game. Okay? Sometimes they're used to extend the length of a combo. So I go boom, boom, boom. And then Super Scroll comes out and punches Captain America. I probably should have hit that earlier. So. Look at that. Oh, he missed. He's a jerk. All right, you saw that. I did two to three hits with Wolverine, and then Wesker came out and punched Captain America in the face, which launched him up into the air. So I could have continued to hit him if I felt like it. Um, that's really the purpose of assists or partners in this game. Uh, in Marvel vs. Marvel Capcom 2, they were drastically different. For example, if Captain America was harassing me with attacks, I would have said, Oh, help her, help her, help her, help her. And maybe someone would have come out and said, I'll save you. And he would punch Captain America in the face and get him off me. It's very rare in this game to find that happening. The partners in this game usually are used to extend the length of combos. Um, and so that's really the primary purpose. Or to keep people blocking. Um... And I know you know what I'm talking about right now. If someone attacks you, all you do is hold backwards, okay? If Captain America is attacking me high, and I have no idea how to program him because I'm sure it's really stupid. Uh, what the fuck? Yeah, see, I need to be player two to program it. It's not letting me program it. So anyway, fuck this. He's going to jump like an asshole. If Captain America were coming at me and attacking me, if I were to hold... The... This is really annoying, isn't it? Alright, let's just make him stand. If I were to hold directly backwards on the joystick, so as you see, Wolverine is facing right. If I hold right, he walks forward. If I hold left, he walks backward. But if Captain America were coming at me and, and attacking me, if I held back, Wolverine would block the attack, okay? And similarly, with Wolverine, I told you about attacking, which is just basically pressing the buttons in a series like this, light, medium, heavy. I can also do low attack, so if I hold down and I press light, medium, heavy, you see Wolverine does a variety, he does low attacks, which if Captain America isn't ready for them, he'll get hit by. So. If Captain America comes at me and he wants to attack me low, like I just did like this, he would have to block low. Uh, let's do auto guard, just to show you what I mean. Oh, he's not blocking now. What the fuck? Oh, he's... He's pathetic. <laughs> This is not auto guard, this is get hit by everything. Alright, all guard. Alright, you see Captain America, he's blocking right now. Okay, so I'm coming at him and I'm holding down on my joystick and I'm pressing the buttons. He's blocking. To block low, you don't just hold backwards like I showed you on the joystick. To block low, you have to face the, or pull in the opposite of the direction that you're facing in a corner. So for example, if he was attacking me, I'd have to hold, not back like this, which hold, makes me walk backwards, but down back. You see, I'm crouching backwards. I would be blocking all of his attacks right now if I were doing that. So that's how you block low attacks, okay? So anyway, um, now that you understand basics of blocking, 
which is hold back or hold down back. That's really the, the only thing to it. Now I'm going to teach you about some advanced tactics, okay? I'm going to teach you about special moves and also super moves. So, first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to... Oh my god, no guard, okay. Special moves. If you go into the command list for any character... Oh, good, a Onage Princess is online. It's going to show you the special moves. And, for example, Berserker Barrage says it can be chained together. What does that mean? Uh, what it means is, if you do that motion with the joystick while pressing any attack button, that's ATK stands for attack button, and as you know, we have three attack buttons, light, medium, and heavy. Uh, if you keep pressing it, it'll keep hitting. So, Berserker Barrage, how do you do it? You start with down. Ignore what's happening on screen, by the way. Down, down towards, towards, and you press any of the three attack buttons. That's how you do Berserker Barrage, okay? So, for example, this is Berserker Barrage. I'm going to go down, down towards, and towards. I'm wondering if I could show you what's happening on the screen. Here we go. So what's happening now is, as you see, there's a bunch of arrows. That's what I'm actually doing on my joystick right now. So, ignore all that. Down, down, forward, forward, plus any attack button. As you see, down, down, forward, forward, plus any attack button. It's a rolling motion with your hand. You need to do a rolling motion to get that to come out, okay? Now, if you hit the button repeatedly, so I'm not just going to do that. I'm going to keep hitting the button after I do that motion. Wolverine will keep hitting. And depending on which button you hit, light attack, medium attack, and heavy attack, he'll do it multiple times. So that was light attack, and I'll do medium attack. See, he hit more, six hits, and I'll do heavy attack. Eight hits. And, uh, yes, I hit it way more than eight times, <laughs> but that's how you get multiple. What the hell did I just do? Ignore what I'm doing right now. I didn't mean to do that. Uh, so I'm going to do it again. There's your eight hits, Okay. Looks like the maximum you can get with Berserker Barrage is 8 hits. Um, so we're going to go back to Command List to find his special moves. These are his special moves. Tornado Claw. Towards, down, down towards, and attack. This is hard. This is the command for what's traditionally been called a Dragon Punch, okay? Because in Street Fighter 2, the first Capcom fighting game that really brought fighting games to the mainstream, this was the motion that made a move called the Shoryuken or Dragon Punch come out. So, toward, down, down, towards. I already did it too slow. You need to do it very fast, like I just did. Now, you see what the game's showing? I did toward, down, down, back, down, back, back, forward, forward, plus light. Like, it's very lenient, okay? It's not going to demand that you do the motion perfectly because no one can do the motion perfectly. Um, it, it, the only people who can do this motion perfectly are people who have played Super Turbo for about 700 years. And I'm not even kidding. I didn't mean to do that. So, basically what you need to do is try to mimic the motions you see in the command list as much as you can. Now I'm doing it to the left. If you do a mo move to the left, you need to mimic it only in the opposite direction. So it said for example, when I was over here, it said right, down, down, towards, and a button. Okay. If I'm on this side, I need to do left, down, down, towards, and a button. Same thing with Berserker Barrage. It was down, down, towards, towards, and any button. So, I need to do down, uh, down, towards, forward, but to the left. And that will make that same move come out. Okay. So, I've just taught you the basics of special moves. And the question is, how do I use special moves, Phil? Do I just do them randomly like this? Well, yes, that will actually work. If you just do them randomly, sometimes they work. For example, Wolverine's Berserker Barrage is so fast. Look how fast that is. It's super fast. It's going to hit someone who's far away. So it might be a good idea to just do it randomly during a match. Now, other moves like this, oh, that's called the Tornado Claw, and that only hits people who are above me or in front of me. So if Captain America's far away, I don't want to do that move. You're not going to know what moves to do until you practice the game repeatedly. So it's going to take a lot of practice to figure out what moves are good when you're close, what moves are better when you're further away, and that's what it's all about. So 
I've taught you the basics of special moves, okay? I'm going to show you a basic combo including a special move. Now, as I've already explained, you can do the magic series or the dial a combo by doing the increasing heaviness of hits. So light, medium, heavy. There's three hits, right? I also said light, medium, heavy, special, and that will launch them into the air and you can do an air combo. Well, you can also do something like light, medium, heavy, special move. And as you saw, the special move just comboed. Light, medium, heavy, special move. Okay? Special moves will connect as long as you are close enough to the opponent and the special move is meant to be a, a, a move that can combo. Again, you're not going to know what moves can combo until you try them all. Every single character in the game is different. So, don't get me wrong. Yes, certain special moves will be better than others, but they all have a place in the game. Um, now, I'm going to tell you about super moves. Super moves, we're going to go back to the command list, okay, are not listed in green. Those are special moves. Super moves are listed in blue. Super moves can only be done when you have a super combo level. And let me show you what I mean. There's bars all over the screen, okay? The bars on top are your health bars. Like I said earlier, your goal is to take your opponent's health bar and lower it until he has nothing left. And when he has nothing left, he's gone from the game permanently. But you have a couple other bars you need to pay attention to, and one of them is called the super bar. That's at the bottom of the screen. Okay, right now it says level 5 max. That's because I'm in training mode. But what that means is right now I could do five super moves. And super moves are similar to special moves. Here's a special move, Berserker Barrage. Okay, but you can do them for extended periods of time and they do extended damage, okay? They're basically really powerful moves that you can do. And in this game, they're really, really good. In Marvel vs. Capcom 2, some super moves were great, some super moves were okay, because if you did, like right now, if I just did a random super move, I'm doing one right now, okay? In Marvel vs. Capcom 2, if I had done that from where I just was, I would have stopped about here. I would have never hit Captain America, and he would have been able to smash me right in the face. In this game, super moves are way better than they were in Marvel vs. Capcom 2. So, they're a lot more safe. It seems like you should use them a lot more often, and they're really more useful than they used to be. So, how do you do a super move? Well, I told you how to do special moves, okay? You have to do a motion with your joystick plus a certain button. It says attack. You can do any strength attack, and it'll go different distances. All right, a super move. Here's Berserker Barrage X. It says, do that motion plus attack, attack. What does that mean? Well, I'm going to show you. What that means is, when you do this motion, okay, just like we did with Berserker Barrage, we're going to do down, down towards, towards with Wolverine. But when we do that, instead of pressing one button, we're going to press two together, okay? And it doesn't matter if you do these two or these two or these two. As long as you press two attack buttons together, this will work. So I'm going to do the same motion I did before for Berserker Barrage, but I'm going to press two buttons instead. So here we go. That's with two buttons. Boom, 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 boom. 17 hits, okay? I'm curious if I hit buttons if I get extra hits. I do not. I get the same hits. So... Super moves are basically the same motions as special moves, but usually with multiple buttons. That's usually the case. It's not the case in 100% of the time, but it is the case in the majority of the time. Um, and they're useful for a variety of reasons. First of all, here's the special move. All right, see how much energy that took off of Captain America's life bar? Take a look. All right, now watch the super move. See, it took way more life off of his life bar. That's the, the, the advantage of super moves. They're extended, okay? Now when we come back, I'm going to teach you how to tag in and out. I'm going to teach you how to super cancel. I'm going to teach you how to ignore these messages. No, I'm actually not going to do that. Um, and we might do some basics of air combos, so I'll be right back.